All right, let's take you out west now where those wildfires continue to grow tonight. Fires threatening those California sequoias out in the Yosemite National Park. The fire spreading at this hour. Wildfires have grown more intense due to drought conditions. According to several research studies, the number of fires and acres burned here in the U.S. so far this year is well above average. I'm at the Weather Center now with Ashley Bercy for details on this. And Ashley, that mm -hmm. fire and these fires this time of the year can really impact the air quality. Yeah, and depending on where the jet stream is, mm -hmm. I mean, it can impact that all the way over here as yeah. well. But every day, um, there's an in air quality index that shows you the pollutants outside. And this is a look at the forecast for tomorrow. It uses six color coded categories and provides statements for each category that will tell you about air quality in your area, which groups of people may be affected and the steps that you can take to reduce your exposure to air pollution. Now the color makes it easy for people to quickly determine whether air quality is reaching unhealthy levels in their communities. It's also used as the basis for air quality forecast. So anything at or above that orange level on your screen will constitute an air quality alert day. Now the EPA establishes an air quality index for five major air pollutants that are regulated by the Clean Air Act. Each of these pollutants has a national air quality standard set by the EPA to protect public health, including ground level ozone, particle pollution, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. So in case you were in, you know, inquiring minds want to know why we have these air quality alerts and there you go.